If you ask any tourists about Australian animals, chances are you'll get this reaction. Oh, oh yeah. God, no, brother, listen. <laughs> you can do this. Oh, cute, don't touch that. <laughs> so why do people think everything is trying to kill us? Yep, Australia has a bit of a reputation as the home of deadly animals. And while our spiders are creepy and our sharks are bitey, there's one creature which takes the cake. Australia is the only continent on Earth with more venomous than non-venomous snakes. So, how did Australia become the land that slithers? To answer this, I got some help from Australia's leading venom researcher, Professor Brian Fry. Let's start with how snakes actually arrived in Australia. So how the venomous snakes in Australia evolved were actually from invaders from Asia once Australia drifted close enough to Southeast Asia. The theory is about 10 to 20 million years ago, a genus of snakes called the sea crites arrived in Australia from Asia. Now the sea crites are semi-aquatic, meaning they spend a bit of time in the water, but they lay their eggs and digest their food on land. But when they got to Australia, something interesting happened. When the sea crites arrived, they were rocking up to an empty house. There were no other venomous snakes to compete with, and so the snakes, they kind of went crazy. These days, there are at least 130 sea crite descendants, or elapids, found in Australia, including the super venomous inland taipan, whose venom can kill around 100 humans with a single bite. But of course, snakes aren't the only venomous creatures in Australia. We got things like jellyfish, spiders, and even the platypus is venomous. So why is being venomous so popular? Here's Brian again. Well, the main evolutionary advantage of being venomous is that it decouples you from a physical interaction. So you can bite your prey, sit back, and let the toxins do their work. Basically, being venomous is good if you're a bit hungry, but also a bit lazy. These are very dangerous snakes that are feeding on very dangerous prey. They're feeding on animals that could severely injure or even kill a snake. So it's a case of they want to absolutely nuke these prey animals as quick as possible to keep them from retaliating. Australia is also a very tough place to live and finding food can be even harder. So when you do find a meal, you don't want to let it get away. This toxicity has given Australia a pretty bad reputation, but do we deserve it? Well, there's a little bit of a myth in the sense that Australia has the top whatever of venomous snakes. This is a fundamental misunderstanding of a 1979 study by one of the pioneers of Australian venom research named Spruan Sutherland. This study was looking at the toxicity of a whole lot of Aussie snakes and comparing it to essentially whatever Sutherland had in his freezer, which was a pretty small snake selection. But when the paper was published, it looked like Australia had 20 of the top 25 most venomous snakes in the world. Yikes. Very quickly, the rest of the world catches up with things like mambas or crites or some of the cobras. Another problem was that snakes deliver different amounts of venom when they bite. So although the inland taipan has extremely toxic venom, it really doesn't deliver too much for an actual bite. On the flip side, something like the king cobra can deliver a lot more venom. It's a myth that Australia has a snake bite problem. It doesn't. On a really, really bad year in Australia, two people will die. So if snakes aren't really a problem, what is? Yep, horses and cows. From 2008 to 2017, nearly one third of all deaths involving animals were caused by horses and cows. And a lot of those also involved a car accident. And sitting all the way down in fifth was snakes. Right above dogs and right below sharks. When we compare this to other places around the world, well, Australia is pretty timid. Every 10 minutes in India, somebody dies. Every minute or two in India, somebody gets bitten by a potentially deadly snake. And that's just in India alone. Worldwide, around five million people are bitten every year by snakes. But in Australia, it's 
barely a problem. The fact is that most Aussie snakes are pretty shy. Nobody has ever been attacked by a snake. Snakes only defend themselves. That said, it's worth being careful when you're out in the bush. You know, wear some proper shoes, focus on where you're walking, and if you do see a snake, just stand still and let it slither past you. Drop bears, on the other hand, well, that's a different story. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure you chuck us a thumbs up and head on over to our channel as well. We're gonna be putting up heaps of new cool videos in 2020. And while you're at it, head on over to the ABC Education website. You'll find heaps of cool resources for students, teachers, and your parents.